Hi, everybody, and welcome to Run Tall. I'm Tim. Thanks for being here. I always appreciate the time that you and I get to spend together. So thanks for tuning in. And I hope wherever you are that you're happy, healthy, and staying safe. Now, today's video, I'm focusing on a piece of recovery gear. It's by Hydragun. It's her heat pulse knee massager. Now, before I get into it too far, I do want to get a disclosure out of the way. The Heat Pulse Knee Massager by Hydragun was sent to me for the purpose of review. However, no one's paying me to make the video, no one's telling me what to say, and no one has the opportunity to preview my thoughts before I share them with you first here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Run Tall family. I'm really glad you're here and you found us on YouTube. Now, I post running shoe reviews, comparisons, and shoe battles weekly, but I also like to post other videos that are related to running as well, like this one. So if you enjoy watching running shoe reviews and other videos about running, be sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I upload new content. The Heat Pulse Knee Massager by Hydragun retails for $149 US dollars. And if at any point in time during this video, you're interested in maybe learning a little bit more about it or picking one up for yourself, I'm gonna put a link in the description below that'll take you right to it on their product webpage. And if you use that link, you can save yourself 20 US dollars, but it is time sensitive. From the date that I post this video, you'll have 30 days to take advantage of that discount. Now, if you're a longtime subscriber, you might remember that I had reviewed a percussion massage gun by Hydragun a while back, which is the Cadillac of percussion massage guns that's out there. So when I got the Heat Pulse Knee Massager, my expectations were pretty high, both in terms of quality of build and functionality. So let's check it out and see if they met my expectations. So let's talk about what this does first. Number one, it delivers a constant heat source to your impacted area. And the heat can range from 40 degrees Celsius up to 60 degrees Celsius, or in terms of Fahrenheit, that would be 104 degrees Fahrenheit up to 140 degrees. And now it can be adjusted in five degree increments. So it's gonna start at the lowest possible setting, that would be 40, and that's 40 degrees Celsius. And then it would go to 45, and then 50, 55, and then max out at 60. Now, my suggestion is that you give it a few seconds at each of those different temperatures to find the one that's gonna work best for you. And it only takes a few seconds for it to heat up to get to that level. And you can always decrease the heat if you get it a little bit too high. You simply use the minus button on the control pod to do that. And again, it's gonna decrease the heat in five degree increments. Now the type of heat and the method in which they're delivering it to your knee is called heat last. Now it's an infrared graphene technology. I found it to be evenly dispersed, it's very comfortable, and I found it to be really soothing. Now the second function is the pulsating massage or vibrating action that gets delivered to your knee. And to turn that on, you're gonna use the M that's located on the control pad. And all you have to do is press it and hold it for a couple of seconds for it to activate. And then you're gonna press that M in order to be able to cycle through the three different levels that you have available to you. Now the first level being the slowest of the pulsating massage functions that's available. And basically you have a, an amount of time or interval between the pulses that are being delivered. And if you were to count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, pulse, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, pulse, that's basically the speed at which that first level operates. And then if you go to level two, it, it cuts that basically in half to one Mississippi between pulses. And if you go to level three, it's gonna be a more constant delivery of that vibrating massage pulse action to your knee. Now the feeling that you get from this type of a massage, that pulse vibration, it's much more soothing than you might find with, with other devices that might have more of a kneading action. So it's not nearly as rough as that might be. So if you're already in pain, maybe you suffer from arthritis or you're recovering from an injury or some surgery that you might have had done to your knee and you're looking for a way to deliver a heat source, but also some gentle massage action, then this is absolutely something that worth taking a look at. Or maybe you just spend a lot of time on your feet because of your job, or you're into some high impact sports, maybe hiking, biking, or in my case, running. Because sometimes after a run, it feels really good to put this on and just deliver some heat and a little bit of massage action. And one of the things that I really like about this is just how portable it is. I can take it right with me out to the track and then put it on immediately after I completed a run. Now, if you want to just use the heat, you can do that. So you don't have to turn on the massage function at all if you don't want to. And that's exactly what I did when I finished my workout. Now, once you've turned it on, 
you can let it run for 30 minutes so it'll go for a 30 minute session so you can turn it on and just forget it if you want to turn it off early you don't have to let it go for a full 30 minutes all i have to do is just press and hold the power button and it'll shut it off but if you want to let it go you can and then you can just switch it over to the other knee if you want to do that for another 30 minutes and in total you have about 90 minutes of charge time as long as we're talking about battery life, let's take a closer look at that control pod. Now this is really unique and I love this feature. It's separate. Now this is this is the battery, but it's also the control panel and it takes a USB to C charge cable in order to be able to charge it. So there's the port there. What I like about USB to C and rather than using a proprietary type of a cable is that you've got tons of these around the house, chances are. At least I know that I do. I've got all kinds of devices that use USB to C. So if something were to happen to this cable, I'm not gonna be out anything. They're easy to find. And like I said, chances are you probably have additional ones around your house already. Now it takes about two hours to get a full charge within the control pod and it's magnetic. So it's super simple to install. So let me just set this aside for now. And it doesn't matter which side, which way you install it. So you can install it upside down or right side up. And it has these magnetic connectors both on, on each side and it just snaps into place. And it's as easy as that. And it's not going anywhere. So it stays, it stays put really well. But the fact that you can remove this just makes it so much nicer to have this sitting around your house. So I don't have to have the whole unit laid out somewhere next to a USB charge uh, block anywhere. I can just have this unit itself. So it takes up a lot less space when I'm charging it and not using it. So now that we've looked at the control pod, let's take a look at the unit itself and check out the quality of the build. Now here they did an excellent job, at least in my opinion anyway. You can see that it has very nice stitching. I didn't see any kinds of loose threads anywhere, so you know it's gonna hold up. And they used high quality material. Now the majority of the unit is a softer, um, kind of a cloth-like material, but it's one size fits all. So you've got lots of adjustment here because you've got a Velcro or what they call that hook and loop system here. So you've got lots of adjustments uh, to make sure that it fits everyone comfortably. And because it's padded, it feels really terrific on your skin. Now the, where the pulsing unit is, where the heat is being delivered, it's a slightly different material here. Now this is more of a neoprene type of a feeling, but you know that it's gonna last, it feels high quality, it's very durable. I don't have any kind of issues or concerns about the quality of the build of the unit. Now this is awesome to deliver that heat and pulsating massage to your knee. But what if you have some elbow pain? Well, you can use it there too. Now, what I found, the easiest thing to do is I make the adjustments ahead of time, but then you can just slide it on up to your elbow and turn it on and you're good to go. But what about shoulder pain? You can use it there too. And they made it really easy for you too. So they give you an additional strap to be able to lengthen it out so it can wrap around and hold it in place. Now, if you want to use it up on your shoulder, the easy way I found to do that is to adjust the bottom strap and then you add that extension strap to the top and I attach the back first. So basically you just kind of slide it on until you get it up to your shoulder and I kind of reach around behind, grab that strap, get it in place and then I'm pretty much good to go at that point. So it's as easy as that. So it doesn't take a whole lot of effort on my part to be able to get it up where I need it to be on my shoulder. You know, should I want to deliver the unit or deliver the power of the unit there as well. So it works good there too. So you got a knee, you got your elbow as well as your shoulder. Because if you have something like arthritis, you might find it in other places than just your knee, or maybe you lift a lot of heavy boxes, or maybe you just have a little bit of soreness from an elbow. Maybe you're a tennis player and you have tennis elbow. Whatever the case might be, you've got a highly versatile unit that can work both on your knees as well as your elbow and your shoulder. So now let's just take a quick look and see what all comes in the box. The first thing you're gonna find is your control pod, which is also your battery. You're also gonna get a user's manual to show you how to use your new unit and to care for it. You also have the USB to C charge cable that's sent along, so you don't have to worry about picking one of those up yourself. They also have the extension strap, in case you wanna use it up on your shoulder. And then of course, the unit itself. Overall, I think they did an excellent job. I'm really pleased with the quality of the build. I love exactly how it feels on my knee. That heat and that massage together just feels absolutely terrific on sore knees. And I think the build quality is excellent. Not to mention, I'm already familiar with the, with the Hydrogun company. I know they're a quality company that's all about customer service and they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you happen to purchase one and you're not happy with it, you can always send it back and get your money. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you.
as always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Run Tall with Ben.